Well, hello! Yes, this is the second day of our decorating for Christmas. I am Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler. Yes, I don't like school. I never did, always hated it, and always will. However, I am not against education. We love to learn. Woohoo! Because that's how we get to heaven. Okay, so welcome here to our home. It is a beautiful rainy day, as you can see. And I love the rain. I appreciate all weather. I just hate the sun, like full blown summertime. Don't like that. Okay, still recovering from, I think I'm done with pneumonia. At least I hope so. I'm not sure, but it's been, this is my third week. They say that it can last a long time. My girlfriend had it for two months, uh, but I feel very healthy. And we took a lot of probiotics, a lot of vitamin D. Uh, but now I'm dealing with asthma, which is too unfortunate. But in this cold weather, what's happening is I have news, okay? So I'm getting ready for Christmas, yes. However, we had a talk this morning as a family. Oh my gosh, okay. So every year we have a Christmas party. I have the symphony in the background. I'm talking up a storm. And it's really hard to breathe because I have this, this ailment of mine and because of this weather, it's very cold. But I got this on, see? Yes. And, um, and the thing is, every year we have a Christmas party. We are the home to have the party. It's beautiful. However, it's so much work, I can't even take it. But my children are saying that, Mama, if we do, if we help you clean, what they said every year, they said that every year, <coughs> and they didn't, excuse me, um, I'm saying to them, how's this? Clean it and then invite. You cannot invite unless you clean first. And I'm saying, you don't just clean, you have to like remove things out of the home. So my duty today is, the second day is, see this, this is what we call our mud room. Usually it's very pretty, very beautiful. I had cleaned it over the summer, lovely place to be. Then slowly but surely, things just started accumulating. It is terrible, terrible, horror, 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 horror. But everything is, you know, we use it all. Um, so this is all our cans that I use for my retirement fund. And we have giveaways to Salvation Army and and chairs out of the trunk of our car. I just got to get this place in tip-top shape. Not so much for this event, but because, see all this mess right here? Mm -hmm. Those are shoes that have to go. This piano music's kind of driving me crazy right now. I don't really like it. <coughs> Uh-oh, I found another. decor that has to go away. All right, so, oh, stepping over everything. I feel like Oscar the Grouch living in the trash can. Okay, so because I have to take all the sandals and put them away, and then I have to take all the boots and put them out. So, wish me luck. I will see you in a little while. It's gonna take me a while. It's probably gonna kill my lungs out here. No, weather, no good weather, but you know what's gonna be even more cold and more snowy and horrible. So we gotta get it done now. And then all the indoor activities. So I'm gonna give the phone to my daughter so she can use it for a while. I'll see you later on. I know for you it's one second, right? Nice to be you. All right, I'll be back. All right. To eliminate all the fall decor, what I have to do is Mr. Squirrel, I got some pumpkins. Oh, I see a little nest in the tree. I'm gonna put this stuff in my garden. It's all really good little tiny pumpkins. And then maybe next year, and my girlfriend gave me, well, next year, I never finished my sentences. She gave me this and now it's gone. So maybe something will come up. We're gonna dump everything in here. Thank you, Mr. Flower. Yeah, look at all these, gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna put these out here. And then maybe we'll have a little pumpkin patch next year, huh? All right? They're all beautiful. They look good. See, and then all the squirrels can come, eat them all up. Come on, I got some food for you guys. I see you in the tree. Oh, look how cute. Where is he? He's up there. Oh, he just sits in the rain. I'm sorry. Oh. All right, so you have a lot of pumpkins here. You guys have to chomp on. 
and then leave you the seeds though, okay? All right. So, <coughs> what else do I have to do? Oh, see, this is the stuff that hurts my lungs. If you have asthma, you really don't want to be in the cold. All right. Why are you going over there? See, he's running on the fence over there. Oh, cute. All right. So we're going to do the mudroom. <laughs> no complaining, Lisa. All right. I'm going to do this for my next, my next subscriber. I'm not going to complain. Just for you. Let me go find out who that is. Okay. I am going to try. If I get it wrong, I am sorry. But it is, is it Alethea Dunajewski? I hope that I said that right. Anyway, I am not going to complain in your name for being our ninth month subscriber. So, uh, let me see this again. Uh, it's either Alethea or, yeah, I, I would say Alethea Dunajewski. Please, I hope that's right. If not, I am sorry. I don't mean to offend anyone. Okay, so I... Right. I know I look like a weirdo. However, I have to do this to be out here. It's awful. Okay, so Alethea, this is for you. And may God give you extra grace today so that I will not complain. I will not complain outwardly or even in my heart to do this job in here for you. Okay, thank you for being part of our YouTube family. All right. Oh, I have not been in this car in so long, weeks. That is so unheard of. I'm gonna turn my van around so that the trunk is facing the door and I can just throw all the bottles that I have to return in the trunk. I hate to do that because who knows when I'm going to return them. But they're not going outside in the rain. It'll be all horrible, all buggy. Ugh, horror. So here we go. Oh my gosh, look at, look at the squirrel. Look at the squirrel eating the pumpkin. You go, boy. You go, honey. Good for you. Isn't he cute? Oh, God bless him. St. Francis, please pray for this little guy or girl. So cute. So cute. Oh, he's really getting in there. There's more over here in my yard, you know. You're free to it. Giveaways and these cans are going in the trunk. Oh my gosh, look at this big bag, huh? Thank God for my mother or my mother. Ugh. Okay, all right. Whew. Okay, everybody in here has an order. You must not fall out of your bag. Everybody understand? Good. All right, chairs are in the basement. I know I look like a bizarro, but that's okay. Who cares? And the cans are in the car. Okay, we're doing this for you, Alethea. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, stay strong. All right, we got to go to the shed, the hillbilly shed, and put the tool things away. I hate to do this. These are my slippers. They were always too big. They're starting to rip. That's not a problem for me, but they're just, I don't know. We want new ones. Thank you, God. All right, well, anyway, thank you for all your warmth throughout the years. <clears throat> this is my little shelf for gardening stuff and boots which we're going to really need so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out everything put things we're definitely not gonna use up there and the boots out yeah you know why else we're doing this the most exciting part never mind just cleaning it because we are gonna have that party and because of the shoes but because tonight I believe it is when mr. fry is ready he's going to take all the Christmas boxes which are gonna be huge and he's gonna put them out here. That's the tradition for us. And as we need them for the inside of the house and outside, we keep going back and forth to them. So that's why I gotta get this done today. Today. Onward. You know what? You could put me on in your house and if you have a project, we can do this together. Go. I know I look strange. That's okay. This here, I had to use a clothespin to keep it closed because, oh, I tell you, if you got, Asthma, you're very sensitive to the cold. You have to, this is beautiful. I'm like all covered up, 
the hot breath that I'm letting out is going right back in. You know, the, the steam of it all. Oh. Uh, feels really good. <coughs> hmm. Okay, time to rest. Oh yeah. From sweeping, my waist was hurting. So, because it's one of those rugs, you know, the outdoor rugs. So we're almost there, everybody. The room is done except for the shoes. And it didn't take very long at all. Ooh, I'm not complaining, I'm just trying to breathe. Looking like a weirdo, but I don't mind. Why? Because I can. So, um, what did I want to tell you? Um, I love set for day. Oh, because you can go anywhere you want in your imagination. It's wonderful, wonderful. <coughs> okay, let me go do these shoes. No, let me go do these shoes. Right? Better attitude. Okay. <coughs> I just realized something. <coughs> <coughs> I just realized something. I don't have the shoes. Usually I leave the sandals out here and the winter boots, everything. And then we take these and do a transfer, right? Uh, guess what? The other shoes, the boots, they're in the attic. So I'll just get these into those boxes and that'll be it for the day. Woo! Hey, it still looks, oh, it still looks cluttered, but it's really clean clutter. All the shoes are underneath there. The rug has to stay there so I can wash it in the spring. Or summer, I should say. Things are drying. We like that chair because we really do use it. It's ugly as anything, but you know what? It works. Shoes underneath, umbrellas and things. And the winter boots are not out yet. But at least all the boxes can fit here. I'll tell you a story behind that. One day we spilled gasoline, or I did. And in the middle of the night, we have propane tanks out there. And I was so afraid that, I mean, look how close it is, that I thought it was going to start a fire. So I, I was out here in the nighttime, cutting into that rug and ripping it out. So it's definitely not set for prettiness because we don't care about pretty. Right now we care about functionality and we care about getting the boxes out here. So, whew, everything, a little bit of my stuff is covered. So we're just getting ready for... The winter really because it's coming it's coming fast and i'm excited so it's almost the divine mercy hour so i'm going to sing it and the waltons are on so i'm going to go do that <coughs> and relax that's a picture of the last supper so eternal father i offer you <coughs> excuse me the body and blood soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world amen off goes the clothespin and tonight the boxes come out okay guess what I'm gonna say hasta la vista mudroom it has to go in the basement by my son my son and I'll go through all that later, after the Waltons. Here we go, hurry, hurry. Oh my goodness, and then look at all this. I live in a very dark home and that's how I prefer it. I hate lights, like overhead lighting. All this has to go away too. So after we settle down for a while, we don't want to exert myself. That's when I'll get back to it. Let me catch my breath. Woof. Da 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 da, oh. Da 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 da. Yeah. <coughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on. Where is it? You know, there's so many devices and connections and... Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me go figure this out. I think that's why I like Symphony too, because... It's like I'm almost living like a Walton. You know how you can hear the music in the background during their lives? That's what's happening. 
I think that's why I like symphony because you can hear the music in the background of your own life just like the Walton so it feels like you're living in a movie so thank you Alethea Alethea for helping me to be a better better at not complaining there we go Could someone direct us to the Baldwin House? Uh, it's about Catholic nuns. Hey, thank you so much, Mr. S uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Scarecrow's in there. We'll see you next year. Good job. All right. I guess a lot of these I thought were going in the mudroom, but these are the indoor things. All right. He's still going. And we had... Two of the kids help anyway. It's such a nice time. It's so nice with the family. Everybody's helping except for one. <laughs> no, they helped earlier. All right. Time for another break. And then you know what I'm doing? Yep. The last on the list is the fireplace with the, which you see this beautiful, beautiful nativity. Gorgeous. Turn the light on. Uh oh. Here. There it is. When you're all done. Who's that? Me. Are you kidding? I can't see. Uh. <laughs> all you see is your legs. <laughs> Keep going. Please. You got more? Yes. No way. Wow. Hey, I need Christmas lights. Come on, bring it down. Oh, guys, see that crucifix? That's the ones that go in the Catholic schools. That was from my I grandfather, who was a, a teacher. Hey. Do you have my lights for my room? Is it in my tree box? Everything is. Okay. Medicare and Medicaid. A Humana plan may give you extra benefits. Do you take this down the basement, the boxes? What? Can you take the box, one of those boxes down the sure, basement? Sure, I can do it. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Carter, there's no mood. I, I apologize. I was just trying to do edit baby. I gotta be honest. Harper. Hannah Harper. Very nice. Meeting. Okay. Here's the fireplace. I cleared it all off completely and I put the white lights. And I'll show you why in a moment. We're going to take these beautiful nativity scene. There it is. And we're going to place them beautifully up there. Here we go. Here it is. Ta da. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun! Nice, see? Everybody's waiting. Now, I put the baby Jesus, the infant Jesus, behind Our Lady to represent to me that, you know, he is with her right now until the birth. So, and there's the angel, and I put the little cruci or the crucifix there. I put that in there because I want to be reminded that this is why he is going to be born, so that he will be dying for us. Now, there's a little message here. Here's a little lesson with the Catholic Church. It's very, very cool. I wonder how many of you um, realize this. When Jesus is placed in a manger, this is very important to understand. When Jesus is placed in the manger, what is a manger even for? A manger is for the animals to do what? Sarah, do you know? No. To eat, right? The animals eat out of this. So everything signifies something. When they place the baby Jesus, I'll give you a little visual. When they place the baby Jesus in a manger, it could have been in anything, but they pick a manger for a reason, because the animals eat. This is a 
this is like uh, a place where where you you get food, right? Is that supposed to be hay? Yes. Why are they putting them in hay? Because uh, to make the bedding soft, right? So, but the manger, this part right there, that's a place to eat. So when God says, you must eat my body and drink my blood to have life in you, this is to represent that, okay? So when we look at the manger, it's not just for a crib. It signifies that we are to eat his body, literally. Oh, you did this? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And to drink his blood. He said to do that. He said. And it's not, it's not a symbol. Because when all the uh, disciples walked away, he didn't say, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, did they think that I meant to eat me? I, I didn't mean that. Go and get them. He said, what are you going to do when he looked at his apostles? Okay. So I thought that was very interesting. Okay. So what do you think? I'm going to take down the palms and I'm going to burn them, right? We never throw them out. They're holy. They're blessed. I'm going to burn them and take the ashes. And there's a little thing you can do over all your doorways, uh, little symbols and this, that, and everything and prayer. So I got to look that up, but isn't that beautiful? Very good. Well, thanks for joining me today. I am going to relax. I fulfilled everything today. Tomorrow, we're on to something else, as always. So remember that God is good all the time and help to lead all souls to heaven. God bless you all. Good night. Amen. Okay, I just want to let you all know, P.S., I forgot to put up the stocking <laughs> holders. I don't know what you call it. Phillies. And then this what ribbon here. What day do we all put the way up the across. I mean, we could do it any time, but... I feel no, like it's, it's too not, soon. It's too <laughs> early. We do it the day Thanksgiving. We do it the day Thanksgiving. Duh. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Exactly. Right. Okay. But <laughs> not. I can't leave just yet. I want to say that I am going to offer something up for one of our subscribers for nine month subscriber homeschool connections. And what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to offer up um, eating for the rest of the night. I haven't done it since nine o'clock. Maybe even like 8.30, maybe even earlier. I think it was like 8, 8.30ish. So it's 10 now and I'm not going to eat anymore. I'll just have a little bite of something because I have to take my medicine. But that is it. I'm going to offer up all my food for the rest of the night because even though I'm not hungry, I want to eat. But I'm not going to, okay? So, um, so I pray that you, Homeschool Connections, uh, is, has uh, God's grace will come to you. And uh, maybe there's more than one of you that God will bless you all. Um, and I say thank you for being part of our YouTube family channel. God bless you. Bye-bye.